my god, guys. I just fell down my toe tag. I got her. I got her. There's me going in the freezer. I'm gonna call Marco. He's gonna be pumped. Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. Hey guys, opening morning. Light just came up, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It's so green outside, it's crazy. Just trying not to make a lot of noise, but uh, yeah, pretty pumped, pretty freaking pumped. This morning walking in with my dad and Marco, we jumped a big toe at my dad's stand. It's not a good thing, but what do you want to do? It is what it is. So uh, stay tuned to find out how our season goes. Hey guys, so um, it's the afternoon and it's hot. Sweating all kinds. Crazy. It's 28 degrees Celsius. This is crazy. The deer have already their winter coats. I doubt they're gonna move till late, probably dark, but you know what? We're still trying. If you're not out there, you can't get a deer. So you just never know. Somebody, somebody else might bump the deer. The deer might be bedded close by and you know, you just never know. So Hopefully we get a get some deer footage tonight at least. Stay tuned. Two hours later. He's freaking out right now. He's like, oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> you damn right. 
He's not even giving me a chance to talk. He's so Well, thank you for choosing my arrow. I asked you to choose my arrow because I said, then it's on you. Well, I had the doe come in. Dude, she's... The grass is so high that she's hidden in the grass. So I waited 20 yards down, 15 yards. Out of my right. Oh, let me let me arrange it for you because I didn't range it. It was, too, it was a bit close. Um, 14 yards to be exact. I'm pretty sure the Luminoc went off. I'm not sure. Honestly, it was all the brother. I think I heard her go down though. We still got an hour, an hour of shooting light probably. So yeah, I just want to motivate you. I'm just letting you know your last hour of sitting, you could smile, you could be happy because you got to track a deer and we got to bring her home. Hey guys, Marco just picked me up. It's uh, the sun went down, and uh, let's go look for that dope. Oh, I see the light of knock back there. It's under there, but she might have been standing right here. If it weren't for the light of knocks, first of all, you wouldn't see it on film, and, oh, yeah. and you would never find that back. Very hard to see. I'll try making your way. Look, it's actually in the ground. That's crazy. Let me try pulling that out. Oh, I see some. See some blood. See that? That's what's good about the white fletchings. Yeah. You have to think it passed through all the the grasses and stuff. Okay, passed one. Using a slick trick here. It looked like a double lung shot, honestly. I'm surprised there's not more blood than that, but uh, maybe it was so fast it barely got any blood. <laughs> oh, it comes out like you like this is my first crossbow, and I am freaking out with the power. Like I saw a bolt through the deer. Like it was like I was I got surprised, <laughs> and the deer like double back. But uh, yeah, a fletching with blood is always good. You got some blood. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, look at here. Oh yeah, look at the splatters. It looks bubbly. You see the bubbles? It's probably hard to see on camera. Oh, yeah, look at there. Early season tracking is, you gotta be, you like, you gotta be patient and take your time because there's no rush, first of all. We gave the deer over an hour and you could see how meticulous you gotta be. Look on the leaves, how a little green, they looks like little dots because the leaves are all spotted, but look, this is blood here on, on the left side. There we go, see on the tip of the leaf? Yeah. On top there. Wow. I'm just trying to see if on the other side, look, there's blood there and blood there. She ran right in the middle. We got a lot more here, look. There's all bubbles in the love, in the... In the love? Oh yeah, look. Like, oh, look at the floor. Oh, yeah, I could follow from far. There she is. You see her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look, the blood was getting really good here. Right before she ran in the tickets. Look at over here. Look at the floor. Pretty crazy. And look, she's... Oh, I see the belly. Good job, bud. Good job. Yes, sir. It's always great to find our game. What we're going to do, we'll walk up to her, but we'll pull her out in the corn. Let's just make sure she's done. She looks done. Oh, nice deer. Oh, yeah. Nice deer. 
Good job. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, the shot. Buddy. Oh, I told you I double lung there. I thought I'd get anyways. Oh, buddy. First day of the season. New crossbow. <laughs> First time ever shooting a crossbow. I baptized this. <laughs> bugs in my face we're gonna pull her out so you guys can see her i'm so pumped meat in the freezer well here she is guys we're gonna put the tag on her now we just pulled her out of the extreme tick honestly marco did it all i just walked out he did it it's uh it's always a good thing when you're you harvest an animal and you know what we respect them so much they're great tasting and uh it's fantastic that we were successful on the first day crossbow first time ever like i said before and it's it did the job flawlessly like I, I freaked out with the power it has like i even saw like the deer like acting weird when i hit her like she did like a full circle and left and i don't know if we're gonna get that on camera or not she was moving so you know it's really hard self-filming and predicting how they're gonna walk and stuff uh, but i'm sh the shot is there and this is the first of many. This year we're gonna hopefully get some nice bucks. Marco has a doe tag, so if we find the right candidate that has no fawns, because we never touch those, no fawns, and we see that she's alone, we'll put her in the freezer too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some nice minced meat, some nice steaks, a bit of filet mignon. I'm pumped. This is, we worked so hard all year for this, and you never give up. Look, it was 29 degrees, I think, Celsius. It was crazy hot and you know we said if you're not out there you will not catch deer so you have to try you know all you can do is try spray spray yourself and go lightly we're here this is it this is oh man i freaking out it's like it feels surreal to, on the opening day to get a doe like that and you know what we're pumped for many good things to come stay tuned for more crazy g outdoors action so you guys made it to the end of the video Thanks so much. Thanks for watching this week's hunting video. If you guys want to check out some more other hunting videos, we'll put two down here below. If you guys already haven't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys next week.